If you've seen our lessons on the first three types of hypersensitivity reactions, you probably feel like an old pro, but this one's actually a little different. One, two, and three are all antibody mediated, but the fourth and final type is not. Type four hypersensitivity reactions are the only ones mediated by T cells. There are two phases involved in type four hypersensitivity reactions, the sensitization phase and the annihilation phase. Just kidding, it's called the elicitation phase. You might recall that type 1 reactions involve a similar two-phase process, and it's basically the same here. The body sees a suspicious-looking antigen, represented by this mouse, for the first time, and then an antigen-presenting cell, like a macrophage, and represented here by our macrophage explorer, makes the trek to the lymph nodes, goes to the CD4-positive and CD8-positive T-cells, and is like, hey, this thing looks dangerous. So the helper squire and killer knight spot this antigen and get sensitized to it. But, you know, they can't show that they're scared because the mouse is already in the cage and also they're super alpha. So they just roll their eyes and flex a muscle or two. But our helper squire and killer knight are just putting up a facade because at nighttime, in their bunks, when their guards are down, they act a little bit differently. That's because it's only on repeat contact with the antigen that things get a little crazy. And that's what we call our elicitation phase. This phase can be mediated either by helper or killer T cells. In the case of helper T cells, when the same antigen comes scurrying in again, the CD4 positive T cell sees it as stranger danger and secretes interferon gamma, hence why our helper squire here is unleashing a whole bunch of ginger ferrets at that mouse. By the way, the name for a group of ferrets is a business, and so now I've learned something today too. <laughs>